Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, so I had a request to do Sleeping Beauty, um, and I found this image, which I really, really like for um, a couple of reasons. Um, it is almost a full body, so we can make this a lot bigger without worrying about um, having a seam in her face, right? Because um, let's say her face is 11 inches, then you have another 11 here, and then another 11 here. She's at least 30 inches. Um, I'm obviously clear 30 inches, not a problem. Um, her shoulder area right here, though, is a little bit long. So if it weren't for this, if this finger extended up here and the shoulder was broken up into this shoulder and then the rest of this, then we can make her really, really big, probably like a good um, four to five feet without any issues. But because of this, and we don't really need to make it so big, right? I do think that we can definitely do this one at 36 inches and not worry about it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and let's just get started. So first thing is you select the image. I did buy this on Etsy. Um, choose your files, you know, um, they're all very similar to me. What I'm looking for is which image can get me um, a really big file, um, a really big uh, image of it without any seams. And so I like this one a lot because like I said, um, it can, it's almost like her whole body, but, um, this will look great on a cake topper because it'll look like she's standing up and she'll be very sizable. So anyway, I'm going to make her 36 inches. So a full three feet, which is bigger than I normally do. Um, and then let's make this a little bit smaller so we don't have to scroll up and down. So see, she's really big. Um, she's really long. So, all right, um, let's ungroup it and just start seeing what we have. Her hair might be another issue, like this thing is all one piece. We might have to, you know, um, make a slice right here. So it just looks like a, her bang, her bangs is one section and then this little thing, but we'll see in a second. So let's see. So all these colored pieces, they are grouped by color. And so we're going to need to slice these things apart because all the white, um, it's right now at 19.6 by 13.41. So you couldn't cut it, but there's all this empty space, but we can't make it, we can't get rid of the empty space without slicing. <laughs> okay. So, um, let me make a couple copies of the squares because we're, I typically use the square to slice things out. So let's just do that. So we're working with the white. We're going to start slicing the white apart. So these two, I might keep them together. So you want the, whatever piece you want to be sliced out of the whole group, um, just put your square there. And then make sure when you're grabbing this, you're grabbing the white and the square to slice because you can only slice two things at one time. So basically we're taking this apart. This, these two pieces are now separated from the group. So here, let's put this down over here. And you can see I'm, you know, I'm very close to the piece that we just sliced out. But right now my cursor is only picking up two items. It's picking up what's underneath the white that we're, the, the white that we want to separate from the rest and the square. And you know that that's the case because slicing is available. If you picked up more than two items, it will not let you slice. It will be grayed out. All right, so now we have these two pieces, these two pieces, and then I would separate out her teeth from her eyes, and then maybe I would keep the eyes together. It's not a big deal um, because this will still allow us to make the white very efficient. So just imagine if we had a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, you could do something like this, you can probably make it better, but as you can see, this is now one piece of cardstock. Oh, it's a little bit long. Um, so this is 11 by 6.5. So next time on your cardstock, you still have a lot more to use. I mean, we can definitely make this more efficient, but you can see that that's, that's what we're going to have to do with all the colors, just so that you're aware. Okay, so next piece is her hair. Um, let's separate out this piece just so that we know what we're dealing with. So we could do something like, so same square. I just want to make sure you capture all of the hair here. 
and I'm just gonna go like this and slice. So you can see it's a lot of traffic right there, but again, as long as your cursor is only picking up the two items, you're good. All right, so here's our big piece. So this is 14.4 by 8.7. I'm almost tempted. Um, let's separate this. This is gonna be hard to separate by slicing because this curve. So what I would like to do is I would separate these two and then keep these together. So because I wanted to separate it into two groups, I'm gonna duplicate it so that I have two sets of this, of this image and then go to contour. And we're going to just deselect these two items. So you can see now we have this guy right here, which is 9.2 by 6.9. So that's all good. And then up here, we wanna get rid of those curls that we just kept, right? So we want, don't want this, 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 no to this, no to this, and no to this. And now we're just gonna have these two items. Now, the next thing that I would wanna do is it's up to you. If you feel like you wanna deal with all these pieces, you can keep this as two separate pieces. I prefer, um, because this is gonna be a lot of pieces, I would like to weld those two and make it one piece. So where did my circle go? Did I lose my circle? Oh no, here it is. So what I do for my pieces, and I'm trying to think if I have anybody behind me. Um, I don't. The ones that I made for myself don't have this, but I weld the hair all the time. Um, one that comes to mind is um, Belle. So um, what I would do is this, uh, make this smaller, and then put it like, actually make it really small. And put it, you know, it doesn't matter. So, oops, sorry. So grab those three pieces and weld. And so this becomes one piece. And I don't, you know, I just don't think that welding it to make it one piece really changes this image. But she's still gonna look the same with this, but it's one less piece that you need to keep, keep track of. And same thing with this, like I would weld these pieces together and this so that this is all one. Um, so again, you wanna grab your, did I get rid of all my circles? Darn it. Let me see if I can get, okay, there. So bring in your circle and let's duplicate this a few times because we're gonna have to. And, you know, depending on how much you want to keep, if you want um, some of the details of the cut lines, you can do that. So you can maybe like weld something like this, then you would still have these cut lines open. And sometimes that's really nice because it just gives it detail. But if you don't want to keep it open and you just want to make it one thing, you can, you know, do something like this and weld it. So I'll weld that for now. And you see now those little circles, now it's one piece with a little, a little curl right there. And then for this one, you can unlock this and make it more um, like an oval and then do something like this. And now, uh, almost, I think I need to stretch this out longer. And you can just um, arrange center the back so that your oval is on top, then you can see it a little bit better and you can move it too. But you could do something like this. This now attaches all the pieces. So, so here's the bottom of her hair. So instead of, I don't know, like six pieces that you had here, maybe even more, it's now combined to be two pieces. Now, one of the things that I did notice though is over here, we have a lot of colors going on, right? You have your light pink, your pale pink, actually you have multiple light pinks. Um, so what I would wanna do is, I would go to color sync on the side. So let's see, here are her eyes and um, her teeth, right? So obviously the white stays. Here's your black background. These are just things that we're using to slice. Now her hair is two different shades of gold. It's gonna be one shade. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. Let's see those, oh, so she has the irises. You'd probably wanna keep that, that'll look really pretty and it's tiny, it's just two little pieces. Um, now, 
her pink though i feel like especially this one this is a detail in her dress that all of a sudden has to be a different color i'm definitely making it oops wait what is that oh it's her lips oh interesting okay so her whole mouth hold on let me go grab her teeth let's see what her it's like she's got um lip liner and lipstick <laughs> so it it's up to you you can keep them separated or you can make it one color let me see what that looks like i'm tempted to make it one color and what i would do is i would weld these two pieces together um but it's up to you and then here are the pinks again i'm not a big fan of having so many different shades in this case because of her dress i'm totally okay with two shades of pink i don't think we need three we had four before i think so um i'm tempted let's see so this is the i'm just gonna do i'm gonna grab this whole thing there and i made it all dark so she has two shades of pink okay so now this is a little bit easier to deal with we have one yellow for her hair uh, her eyes are going to be two, pretty much two small little pieces that you're going to use. Um, two pinks and a third pink for her lips. Now it's up to you. You could make, I would argue for light lips, like I would make it so now you have two shades of pink. Okay, so let's grab, let's see, how can we do this? Let me grab this. Oh, this is the rest of her yellow hair. Okay. All right, and I would grab her lips. You know what, it's easier to do layers, sorry. Let's go over here and find the two lips. I would grab this, hit the shift key, grab this one, and I would just weld. So now that's better. So that's her full lips, she has full lips, and the teeth is gonna be arranged into the front. That's what her mouth is going to look like. And I, I don't think that that's bad, but you could have two shades of pink. That's totally up to you. All right. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's the black. We don't need black because we have the black background. So let's delete that. So you have this and you have the white of her eyes. Okay. Now with this, I would definitely do this and slice it because there's no reason to use a four by two piece of cardstock when it could be consolidated. So I would just grab these two items and slice really quickly. And then now when we go to this color, you can put these two really close together. And instead of like a four by two, it is now, hold on, let's grab it. Um, one and a half by one and a half, right? So that's much better. And you probably have that scrap um, on hand, right? Okay, so here we go. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? We have the... This little piece right here, it is up to you to keep. Sometimes when they're really small, I just delete it. I don't think anyone would notice. And I just, it's such a, it's so annoying when you go to cut it and it's so small, it gets ripped and then or you lose the piece, so that's that's my thinking. Um, okay, and then we have this. So we need to separate all these colors out because for instance, like this one, this is 17.2 by eight, so you can't cut it on your Cricut unless you had 12 by 24 cardstock. Um, but I know it's expensive. So on this one, I would probably separate it into two. Um, and so again, we're gonna use contouring, right? So if you need two, you need two copies of it. So here's, here are two copies. Let's go to contour and let's move it over a little bit. Make this a little bit smaller. And let's deselect these three. So here's our first piece. It's now six by eight. So we can cut that, right? And then go to contour. And this time let's get rid of this side. Did I get rid of that? No, it doesn't. Oh my gosh, it's not letting me select this piece for some reason. 
I think it's that there. Okay. Yep. So now this piece, oh, this piece is still too big. It's 11.9 by 6.9. Now, because it's angled this way, it's 11.9, right? But look, if I just shift this a little bit, it's now 11.3 by 8. So we can totally cut this on the Cricut. Just when you peel off the pieces, you know that you need to rotate it, right? Not a big deal. I'm just manipulating the system. Okay, so these, these two pinks are done. Let's look at this one. Um, these are three big pieces, so we could do contouring. We can keep this guy. So let's do four copies of this image, right? So we have one, here's two, three, and four. And let's go to contour and let's get rid of all the pieces. Now I like to, when it's just four, I'll do this. Hide all, it will leave the one piece, okay? So it left this piece. This is 12 by six, but again, we can move this a little bit and now it's 10 by 7.8. So you can cut that on the Cricut. Let's go to the next one. Let's hide all and it's gonna leave that first one again, right? But we want this one this time and we no longer want this one. And so here we have the next one. And oops, let's see how big that piece is. Okay, 7.4 by 8.4. All right, let's contour this piece. Um, so we want to hide all. We want the third piece now. We don't want this piece. So here's our third piece, all good. And then we're going to keep that last piece, right? So contour, hide all. We want this guy. We don't want this one. And there you go. So this guy is 0.46 by 0.57. So he's sizable, probably okay to keep. Um, let's go up here and continue looking at what we have. All right, so we still have her other hair. Um, wow. Um, so let's see how we wanna group this. I think this one will be by itself, this middle piece. And then I want these three together. Mm, this one by itself, so that's three pieces, four and four and five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces. And because of the way the curves are, I feel like the only way that we can really do it is to contour. So because we want eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's go to contour. Now on this one, I'm probably gonna use this image because I wanna keep things together. So for instance, let's hide all. So it left this long piece and let's see how long that piece is. Okay, so this piece definitely definitely needs to be sliced because it's 13.7 by 15.7. It's too long in both directions. So let's go to contour. All right, so now let's hide all. We want this one um, by itself. So let's deselect this one. Okay, so we've got that guy. Let's go back to this one, contour. Let's do this middle piece. So hide all, and I want you, and I don't need you. And this one is 14, almost 15 by 10.7. I don't think we can move this anymore, yeah. So this one's gonna be this one's gonna need to be sliced, and I would slice something like right here, and it'll look really seamless. So let's move that one aside, and then let's go back to here, contour, hide all. So so far, let's do these three together: one, two, three, and deselect this one. So these three, and I would weld these right. So afterwards, let's weld the three, make it one. Go to contour, hide all, and let's do this little guy here. Oops, there. And what we don't want is we don't want this guy and we don't want this one. And again, with this one, I would want to group this, weld it together um, so that we don't have to deal with all the pieces. Um, okay, so I think we're left with, oops, hide all. We want this one, we don't want this one. And we're almost done. Contour, let's see what else do we have left. Oh, we have the top pieces. 
Um, so we have this guy. So we have two pieces left. We have this one and this one. So let's hide all. We want that one. Don't want this one. And we counted correctly, right? So here's our last one. This last one is that outer piece. Hide all. We want this guy. We don't want this one. Okay, so we're almost done with the hair. So here, for instance, let's duplicate that because I think we're welding quite a few pieces, right? Unlock it. Make it whatever shape you want that you feel good about welding. I'm going to weld something like that. Let's grab all these pieces and weld. So it's now one piece. Um, same thing with this guy. I'm going to weld all that. So let's duplicate that. Make it smaller. And I would do something like, like that. So let's grab that, weld it. Now, depending on, let's see if we can contour this. We can. So, and the reason why I say that is if you don't want this little cut, if you don't care about it, you can just click on it and it won't cut. And let me show you what that looks like. It's such a small detail that I don't think anyone would notice. And it just drives me insane that sometimes with those small cuts is what, you know, it gets caught on the blade and then it tears it and then you have to recut this whole thing. So sometimes I will get rid of those little things. All right, so we have got that out of the way. This one we need to slice, right? It was too big. What I would do is I would take this, unlock it, and do something like that. So hold on. Okay. And so grab these two items and slice. And what I was going for is, you know, this natural like cut right here. It was already going that way. And so now there it is. And then when you put this together, it's not going to look bad. Okay. So this guy though, this is going to be tough to, to do. And this is where one of my favorite tricks is I use, I love glitter font. Um, so go up here. If you don't already have it, which I feel like everybody has, but if you don't have it, it's free from DaFont. So it's D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. And I love this font because of the little glyphs. So the ones that we're using is to the right of the letter P and it's the square brackets. And let me show you what that looks like. So when you type that in, you get this. And I feel like this is so typical of hair like you know all the waves that you get right all the, her, her whole hair was like that so this is going to be very natural when we use to deliberately slice her hair so this piece right here let's grab this and we actually only need one of them so let's ungroup and just delete one all right so here's the one that we're going to use and let's see maybe right around here. So I'm gonna grab these two and slice. So this is going to give you, we're saying it's a deliberate cut. So, so it's gonna look like that. We're gonna get rid of this piece. So it's not gonna be pushed up against each other when we go to put it together. There's gonna be a split in the middle. All right, so here we go. It's two pieces, so let's duplicate it and then go to contour and separate them out, right? And let's see what we have here. So this guy is 7.7 .7 by nine, so we're good there. Contour, let's get rid of, yeah, that one. And this top guy is 6.2 by 9.138. So that's gonna look really good. So let's get rid of our slice results here. We don't need this. Let's see, so let's deal with her face. Oh, her face looks so scary like that. All right, so the skin color, you have a hand. So let's, uh, let's see. We can use this hand, this leftover piece right here. And let's just grab these two items and slice. And now her hand should be separated from everything. Just delete everything else. All right, so here's the hand. Um, this hand in here, 
you can keep it in there. So now we have three pieces, let's say. So two, three, and then let's go to contour. All right, so let's separate this for now. Separate her face. Did I get everything? I feel like that's still really, oh, there. Okay, let's see how big this piece is. So this is 13.8 something by eight. So I think if we move this, Close, it's 12 by nine now, but we need to get it to 11 and a half, right? So I think this will be fine. That's a little bit too much because now this is 11.523. So let's move it a little bit this way. 10 by 11, perfect. So this will cut together. Now we gotta get the face. So let's contour, get rid of this and this. And this is 8.6 by 9.2, so that's good. And I guess I could delete this. We don't need that. All right, so hair is taken, face, hair. We've got this guy. You could keep this together if you wanted to, but I would separate these two from this and I would use slice. So let's go over there, grab this. Okay and grab these two items and slice. So now this is 9.2, perfect. And then just later when you go to cut this, you can just make this a lot closer than it was. And so it's just more cardstock to save for next time. Um, I believe we're done separating everything and welding everything. So we're just left with the background. All right, so uh, let me move all these things out of the way. Now with the background, you know, so she is 26.8 by 36. So basically, so the cardstock that I'm using is 12 by 12, right? So technically design space will let you cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I hate dealing with half inches. So I do my squares to be 11 by 11. And in this case, the half inch does not save us any paper. So I'm just gonna keep at 11 inches, okay? All right, so let me see, do I have any squares left? I do. All right, so here's our first square. And let's just get rid of these. We only need one square at a time. So we're gonna be using, well, first let's make it the right size. So change up here, 11, and just hit tab because it's a square. It will make it 11 by 11. Um, okay, so our first square, just put it close to the image. And then we're gonna go over here and use our position feature. We're gonna designate an X coordinate and a Y coordinate so we know exactly where it is. The first one, I just go and I round to the nearest whole number. So 15.4 becomes 15, and 7.9 becomes eight. So basically I'm saying go over 15 units, that's 15, sorry, <laughs> go down eight units, and here's the tip of our square. So let's duplicate our square and put this one really close to our first one. And again, all you have to do is round to the nearest whole number. So 26.2 becomes 26, it's already at eight. So now we have two squares that are totally flushed. So when our pieces are sliced, when you go to put it together, it's gonna be flushed and perfect. There won't be any gaps and there won't be any overlays. That's kind of what you want because that will also help you piece all this together. If some overlay, you're not gonna know where, how much for it to overlay when you're putting it together. So it's really important. All right, so let's duplicate this one. There's gonna be three or three columns. So again, put this one really close and then 37 point something becomes 37 and it's already at eight. So let's grab all three of these because we already know they're flushed and duplicate it. So here's our perfectly flushed set of three. Now we just need to make it flush with the top three. So put it really close and then again, just round. So 14.8 something becomes 15, 19.0 something becomes 19. All right, so now we have six squares all flush. So grab this top set. So now we have all six highlighted, duplicate it. 
And now we can just put it down here. And 14.8 becomes 15, 30 point something becomes 30. So now we have 12 squares all flush. I don't know if we need all 12. We'll see in a minute. Let's go over here, I forgot already. So select her from the panel and then arrange and send to the front. So we just kind of want to see what we have here. Um, yep, we're going to need all of those. Now, the thing that I want you to focus on is where we end up slicing. So for instance, right here, I would not want to slice it the way we have it because all of a sudden her hair, this little piece, you have to keep track of and put it together. I really want big pieces, um, big chunks. So I would probably, let's say, move this over. Now, I don't want to move it over to here because if you see her eyelash, that is super, super tiny and it would be sliced off right here. And I don't want to miss her eyelash. I feel like all the Disney princesses have beautiful eyelashes. So you don't want that cut off and lose it. So you want to make sure that when you go to slice this, that the eyelash is hanging on with a bigger piece, okay? So like the way I have it right now, this is a bigger chunk than it was before. Um, this hair is good. This is all together. Her hand is separated right here and this tip is separated. So I'm not in love with that. I wonder if we can get, yeah, that might be better. Right, so her almost her whole face is together, the hair and hair, let's see. So the hand's not separated so much, but it's up here, which is probably covered by a sleeve, um, her dress, so I think that's okay. Um, this piece, these two pieces, I mean, let's see if we can make it more sizable, but then let's see, it gets cut up here. Then you have this piece. I mean, we're now splitting hairs. So you can kind of keep it like this. This is decent. All right. So let's start slicing. We don't need this one. There's nothing in this square. So just delete it. All right. So slice this, grab two items and slice, and we're just going all the way around. Now, if you accidentally grab more than two items, like I will right now, just to show you, I'm grabbing two squares, if you can see my cursor and the image, so slicing is grayed out. So that's how you know you're, you didn't do it correctly. All right, so continue slicing. And this is the easy part. All right, we're almost done. Slice. Oops. And then what I like to do is I start moving the pieces over and I kind of keep it in order just so that when I pull it off the mat, I know that this shape is this right here. So I just, one less thing to worry about later. All right, so here I need to, so let's get rid of our slice results. We don't need any, oh, hold on. We don't need any of this. All right, so now we can slice these two items. All right, here we go. So this is right here. This is right here. I'm getting really confused with what I just did. <laughs> all right, let's grab all of this and delete. Okay, so what do we have here? I know it's kind of busy right here. So this is this hand, here we go. This goes over here. And then we can get rid of the slice results. All right, so here she is, all her pieces. All right. And that's it.
then you cut and assemble it. Um, I don't know if I'll be making this one. I don't have an order. It was just a request. So I don't think I'll be making this one. But you can watch any of my other assembly videos. They are all of the same process. So you can definitely do it there. All right. So if you have any requests, please send it my way. Either post a comment here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Um, you can post a comment. You can email me, Anne at the useless crafter.com. So it's Anne, A N. And then, um, I will get to your requests. I love helping you. Um, I know it's difficult doing this sometimes when you're not doing your exact project. So when you go to make changes, you come up with an issue that I didn't run into. So I would love to help you out. Um, just let me know. All right. Bye, guys. And happy Mother's Day tomorrow.